happy, what day is this? Wednesday. Wednesday. Happy Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, <laughs> Friday, Saturday. You follow on Instagram, that's what that child says every time. Anyway, it is not even dark yet, which is unheard of for our Disney trips. Um, we have hit the road, we're driving to Houston, Texas. I'm not chopping my head off, yay. I've decided to use my phone for this time because last time, chop my head off in every video I took so here's my full head um, we are at Bucky's which is the Texas road stop it's a pretty cool place if you've never seen it before I have it in other videos so you can check that out um, but we're about to eat dinner because Bucky's is what we do say hi hi say hi. hi we are about to head to Disney for five nights one night at Bay Lake Tower and four nights at Old Key West so it's gonna be a kind of a short and sweet trip compared to what we were planning, but that's okay. Um, and then the day after we get home, this little one starts kindergarten. Where has the time gone? But anyway, follow along, should be fun. We're flying out in the morning. Yeah, so we'll see you soon. We are back in Bucky's. This is a must stop for every road trip. My son loves this place. It is a glorified rest stop. If you haven't seen the other videos before, it has restrooms, food, merchandise. You can pretty much decorate your whole house. Clothing, anything you can imagine. And their mascot is a giant beaver. <laughs> See is that your Bucky's shirt? You have to wear this to Bucky's every time we come? Huh? Is that your Bucky's outfit? Yeah. Is a four, yes. Yeah, so you're gonna outgrow it very soon. When? Hey, you want to know something? What? His suitcase is only thirty pounds, which means I can put twenty pounds of souvenirs in there. Negative. Are you sure? Yeah. <laughs> I tried, right? Well, we made it to the airport, and TSA pre-check was open. I wasn't sure it would be. So we're back here a little bit earlier than we normally would be. But um, FYI, Jason's Hey Dudes <laughs> set off the alarm for the security thing. So he had to take off his Hey Dudes. The foam shoes. The foam shoes that have nothing to them set off the alarm. So don't wear Hey Dudes <laughs> go through us. an airport if you're in TSA pre-check where you don't have to take off your shoes. All right, we're waiting on the coffee places to open and then it should be almost time for our flight. We are on the plane, we're taxiing up the runway and I had to laugh because we actually landed in like the very front seat. So I said, this is also known as a Southwest first class. <laughs> Express no longer offers baggage uh, pickup. We are headed to baggage claim. Hopefully this is the right carousel <laughs> to pick up our luggage and then we'll head over to Magical Express after this. From Chicago, your bags are about to have display on carousel 12. Thank you, big helper. This is our first time at the airport since uh, February of 2020, so we haven't seen the updated airport, but uh, it's cute. I do miss Mickey and Minnie. You miss the Mickey and Minnie statue? Nope. <laughs> Perfectly for timing. I was expecting. 
to be at Disney around 11, so this should work out perfect. Our plan is to go to Bay Lake Tower, check in if our room is ready. If it's not, transfer stuff from our book sacks to the luggage, put our luggage and baggage claim, and then head to the Magic Kingdom. So that's our plan for the moment. Um, we're about to get going here very shortly. So side note, on the plane, um, we had been <laughs> five. All right. <laughs> okay, side note. Side note, on the plane, we had been in the Happy air. Happy all the days. Happy all the days. Thank you. Okay. We had been in the air for over an hour. And Braden's ears were getting to it. So he started crying um, mid-air. He does not chew gum. Um, on the airplane. Yeah, he started crying on the airplane, huh? He doesn't chew gum. And um, I was kind of frantic on trying to tell him to yawn and pop his ears. Um, prior to getting on the plane, the sweet couple, or family actually, found Jason's phone and brought it to us, and they happened to be on our plane, and they were actually sitting right across from us. So they offered us a piece of gum, which was so sweet, and then they offered us some of their Mentos, which was so sweet. We ended up using Skittles, and it worked out, but I like, by the end of it, I felt like I owed them a Mickey bar or something. <laughs> like, you guys were lifesavers. Um, so, kindness is still in the world. It's not that hard to be kind, intentionally kind, and I am so grateful to them for what they do. Our room at Bay Lake Tower. We're in room 7308. This is a deluxe villa, studio, whatever. You know, the one without the uh, washer and dryer. So when you first walk in, super cute. This is an adjoining room. We don't have anybody to connect with here. Here's the restroom, has a shower and bathtub. I love the wall color. Cute little alcove. And this is kind of cute too with the little kitchenette. Has its own little hallway. I love this. Hi. A mirror. What is this? Oh, it's another light. Okay, cool. Cute, cute. And then keep going straight. There's a closet. And last but not least is the actual room itself. We just had a basic view. Um, we didn't like upgrade anything here. We just booked the cheapest room for the cheapest points and it looks like a lake view awesome and the patio this is perfect i would love to stay here for a full trip it just didn't pan out that way this time so maybe in the future this worked out perfectly everything was like perfect world we are here right at 11 o'clock like i thought our room was actually ready when we were on magical express i opened the app and looked at my resort and it showed a room number so i'm like i guess it's ready and it was so that worked out completely perfect um we are just unpacking our book stacks and about to head over to the magic kingdom i thought we only had a lake view but you can totally see space mountain from right here so we're, we're contemplating if you can see fireworks or not i think we're planning on actually watching them in the magic kingdom tonight but that's pretty cool i didn't book anything extra special look at us go and we fixed the television it didn't have the right channel on, so now it's good. <laughs> Something I forgot to mention, because I know this is very important to a lot of people, is that they still have the shampoo, conditioner, body wash, and soap, um, like in, you know, separate from being attached to the tub, because this these rooms have not been refurbished yet. So those are still separate. Over here they have a bar of soap and lotion. And then included in the little kitchenette area is uh, plastic, cups and coffee cups. These are so cute. They have the Mickey embedded in. I don't know if you can see it. I'll have to show you when I make coffee tomorrow. And then there's plates and bowls and napkins. And then for the coffee, it's all in the drawer. 
there's also plastic spoons and forks and everything you would need to make coffee. Let's see what else is here. Nothing's there. Oh, there's some uh, dishwashing liquid. Oh, there's some more. So there's a couple containers of dishwashing liquid. And that looks like about it. Hi. Hi. <laughs> you ready to go to the Magic Kingdom? You ready? I'm ready to go to the swimming pool. Oh, we'll swim. We promise we will swim. Okay. All right. Let's go to Magic Kingdom. This is seriously the coolest view. There is Space Mountain right there. Wait. There is Space Mountain right there. <laughs> Very cool view.